Next, I'm going to show you how you can view and grade written assignments. If you've ever used Dropbox as an angel, you went to the Dropbox itself, and there you could use, view the submissions. And Blackboard does that a little bit differently. You will not go to the Dropbox to view submissions. Instead, you'll click on Grade Center. Then you'll click on Needs Grading. And then you'll see all the items in your course that need grading. In this case, I'm going to click on the student for one of the students and, and uh, grade their paper. So I'll click on the student name. And then you'll see that the paper will open in, and you can view it from the screen. You don't have to download it or save it or rename it to your computer. You can do all of the grading and provide feedback right here in Blackboard. And this is called inline grading. If you're using a laptop to grade, you might need a little bit more room on your screen to provide comments. So if you want, you can hide this left column called the course menu. And to do that, you'll hover your mouse between the course menu and the paper, and then you'll see this little arrow. Click on the arrow and it's going to hide the course menu. You can also, if you're just going and uh, going through and providing some comments directly on the paper, you can hide on the right that grading column. And to do that, there's a small arrow near the top. Click on that and it will hide that column. So now you have a little bit more room to work. You can, write on the paper without downloading it, make comments or draw or highlight things on the paper. To do that, to make a comment, You'll hover over the comment area and there's a drop, uh, the comment button, and there's a drop down menu. And you've got a couple of options, and I'll show you one or two. The first one is the point comment. So if you click on point comment, you can take your cursor and move it to whatever point in the paper that you want to make a comment, and then click. Then your name will appear, and you can, with a text box, that you can type your feedback in. Another type of comment I'd like to show you is by, again, clicking on the drop-down menu. It's called an area comment. So if I click on area comment, my cursor becomes this crosshairs, and I can click, I can click, and then, whoop, there we go, and then drag, and it's going to make a square over an area or a, a portion of the text or of the paper. And again, my name will appear with a text box and I can provide some feedback. If I do make a comment of some kind and I want to delete it, I can just hover my mouse, I'll see this delete button, and I can just hit delete and click OK. And I can go and make my comments throughout the paper. I can also highlight. If I click the highlight button, I have my choice of some different colors, and then I can highlight over the text as I choose. There are other types of comments and uh, text you can make, and I'll let you explore those, and you can contact the South if you do have any questions. So after I go through the paper and make the comments, I want to finish grading the paper. So I'm going to bring back that column on the right, that grading information, and I'll see this little white arrow, and I'll click it, and it's going to bring it back. The um, most papers for AL courses do have a writing rubric attached, and to locate that rubric and use it for grading, you'll see under the white box on the right, there's a very small down arrow. Click on that down arrow, and then you'll see you'll have access to the writing rubric. There are two, kind, two ways you can access the writing rubric. One is by clicking on the title of the rubric, and then all of the criteria and levels of achievement will expand down the right side of the screen. If I wanted to review the descriptions for each level of, of achievement, I can click on Show Descriptions. And then I could also reveal by clicking on this Show Feedback button that for each criteria, I could have a separate feedback box. And similar to discussion board rubrics, then I will click on the uh, level of achievement under each criteria and it is a percentage range. So the number chosen by default is the midpoint of that range, but you could click on the down arrow 
and choose a score anywhere within that range. And then you just continue clicking for the different levels of achievement under each criteria. until you're just to the end. And you'll see that the raw total is calculated for you, and you can also override that if you choose. And then there's this general feedback box at the very bottom. And when you're through, you can click Save Rubric. I'm going to click Cancel right now because I'm gonna show you the other way that you can view the rubric. The other way you can view the rubric is to the right of the title of the writing rubric is a box within a box. So I'm going to click on that, and then the rubric will pop out in a separate box. And then I can see the different levels of achievement along with the different criteria. And I can click on the boxes, and it will begin to add up the raw score for me. And here is, again, it's a percentage range rubric, and the uh, default is choosing the midpoint of that range and I can override that anywhere within that range if I choose. Then when I get to the bottom, the raw total is calculated for me, and I could override that total if I so choose, and also provide some general feedback, uh, overall feedback to the student about this assignment. When I'm all done, I'll click Save, and then you'll see the score that was on the rubric is entered there in the white box for you. And then when you're all through, when you're ready to submit it to the Grade Center, then you'll click the Submit button. When you click that Submit button, the student will receive the grade in their My Grades section. They'll have access to the paper with your feedback and also the rubric with your comments. And that's how you grade a paper using inline grading on Blackboard Learn.